Mayday, Mayday, help! Hi friends, welcome to Hang With The Bangs. Thanks so much for stopping by today. We just got back from our first <laughs> sailing adventure with our girls. <laughs> How'd it pretty, go? It was pretty adventurous, <laughs> but we got it. We have to take you back a bit because I don't think we've talked about this much. We haven't. And we don't no. have much footage, but we're, we, this is definitely a story we need to tell. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty exciting afternoon. <laughs> a while ago, I was looking at boats and I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so fun to buy a boat in the future. And I was talking to Jake about it and he's like, that would be really fun, but we should probably learn how to sail before we buy a boat. And I yeah. was like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so maybe we should do some sailing lessons. Jake and I have each gone and taken sailing lessons and we both passed and we both are, got certified to be out on the water. And today we were driving and we were just out as a family and we just gotten some chicken fingers and fries for dinner and went through the car wash. Yeah, what is that? A dog. a dog on your first car wash. Oh, that is so cute. Getting a car wash. No. no, the car got a bath. And then when it got cookies, cookie. Scout, do you want a cookie? Cookie. <laughs> How is it? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Davey, how's your cookie? Yeah. It wasn't bed bedtime yet. yet. And so Jake was like, well, that's a good win. Maybe we should go sailing. It wasn't too strong and it wasn't too lackluster. We went and checked out these two little dinghy boats that are like little sailboats. They're really tiny. And we're getting the girls all loaded up and we start going. And, and I took Jake I took went first and he took Davey. Davey. And, and right out the get go, the wind was going out of the harbor, out to the lake. And I didn't realize that when I got in, I probably should have thought that through because last time it was the opposite way and I had to paddle out last time, but then this time the wind was going out. And so I should have just grabbed the sail and just had this wind pull me out, <laughs> but I didn't grab it quick enough. And the wind kind of pushed me over into this dock. And then I finally pushed off with the oar and then I got stuck behind some reeds. And so then finally, when I'm trying to get out, I'm yelling back to Kelsey, who's getting loaded up. I'm like, hey, just use the sail to take yourself out. Don't You don't need to paddle. And then Scout and I jump in our boat and then we just get out and we're totally fine and we're having a great time. And so we get out of the little marina area and we're out in the water. Scouty and I are out on the sailboat for the first time together. And I finally got out too with Davy, and she was really wanting to get out too. And Davy, where are we? Are we on a sailboat? Yeah. Woohoo. Yep, that's the main sheet. Look, and there's Mommy and Scout Scout. Should we say hi? Yeah. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Hi. Do you want me to hold you? Do you want to come sit on Daddy's lap? Yeah. Okay, Davey's going to come sit on my lap. Love you. You're doing so awesome. Things were going great. I was going out. Kelsey was going around and coming back. But... Then what happened? I saw Kelsey was going around in circles. I kept going in circles because I didn't get the rudder to drop down. And, and so, so I'm yelling, I'm like, and then oh, I had Scout pull. in the boat too. And then I also had like the sail and I did it because we like kept spinning. I didn't want it to catch the wind. I didn't want to like let go of it too much. And so I'm like trying to pull the rudder to get it to drop. <laughs> And it was just not happening. Then the wind is started to pick pulling up. us and yeah. carrying us. And Scout and I go over to this area in the reeds. And then we get in there and then the dagger stuck and the rudder. I get the dagger out and I pull that up and then I pull the rudder up and we're still stuck and it's like low in the boat. So we like keep swinging over into the reeds. And, I, and then the boom on Kept the on. sail kept popping off. Popping off of the main <laughs> sail. And I'm like looking over, I'm like, how does that happen? And I didn't know how to fix it. And I'm like, okay, Kelsey, stay calm. Because my biggest concern, like running through this moment is like, my precious little baby girl is sitting in here with me. What in the world am I doing? I shouldn't be out here on the water. What am I 
you doing? But then I'm like, no, I know exactly what to do. I can get out of this. It's fine. And everyone had life jackets. Like, it was totally yeah, fine. Like, no one it, was getting hurt. And we're in this little but. small contained area. We're being really dramatic right now. But it just <laughs> felt really intense in the moment because you're out there with your precious baby and being like, what am I doing? Here we are. An adventure, me and Scouty. Sail is busted. <laughs> Or just hanging out in the reeds. Once I see Kelsey struggling and I'm like thinking, okay, well maybe I can swing by where Kelsey's boat is and she could toss Scout over into my boat and I can take him back. And then that way at least Kelsey yeah. wouldn't have to worry about Scout. She could just focus on maybe even paddling because you each have an oar and just drop the sail. And, and I start. just like couldn't get out of the reeds because everything the kept wind was snapping blowing and, and blowing, blowing in that direction. Yeah, yeah. Jake tried to come I'm, over and help. In the meanwhile, I'm like calling him being like, help, And, I and I'm trying help. to get back to the marina going against the wind. Yeah. And so I'm like cutting back and forth and back and forth. And every time she calls me, I let go of the mainsail. <laughs> Because so I just need to answer going. the phone, and so the wind drops, so I lose my momentum, and I'm like, yeah, hey, are, are you okay? Like, I'm trying to get back. Then I called the marina area, and I was like trying to get some tips on how to get everything put to, back together. Put to, back together. And I finally get it all together and I'm like, okay, it's gonna get out. And then the boom pops off again. And I was like, oh my gosh. Then the sweet father and son were kayaking. They were kayaking, yeah, I saw them. And they, they heard were... them say, they're like, should we go over? And they look like they might be stuck. And I yell out, <laughs> yes, please go help. Cause I can't do it. I'm trying to sail back with Davey to yeah. get back to the marina. The kayakers came over and they were so sweet. And I held on to the kayak and then they pulled us out of the reeds. But we kept getting like stuck because it was super shallow for a while in one area. And yeah, so we just like kept getting stuck. Because it's just this little area that it's you're only really allowed to that. sail in. It's not yeah. super big. So that's why you're only allowed to have like dinghy boats in there because it's just a really small area. And yeah, <laughs> and see, by this point, I'm almost back to the marina. Yeah, but like I said, there's this little entryway, and I'm going into the like the wind is like I barely have any room, and I'm kind of <laughs> like trying to go back and forth and back and forth. And meanwhile, Davy's scout mom, like where are they? And Steve yeah. wants to go home, and I'm like, okay, we're trying. I'm trying to get us back. <laughs> And, and Scout was an angel see. this whole time. She was just sitting there and like being a little gym. She was so good. And she wanted to like stand up and see what was going on, but she was super good. And I can't see, by this point, I can't see what's going on with Kelsey over on the other side oh of this lake in the, yeah. in the reeds. I'm sitting there. I don't know what to do because I'm trying to paddle out of these reeds and the wind is blowing us in. And reeds. so then I'm trying to hold the sail so it will catch the different way, but then the boom keeps popping off. And then I turned the boom a little bit and so then it kind of seemed to stick a little bit better but then the first time i have ever ever seen a motorized boat on this lake because they're not allowed to have motorized boats unless it's like the community boats and stuff i saw this boat come out of my eyes and it said rescue search and rescue <laughs> search and rescue like, and like start waving so he thinks i'm just waving then i'm like friendly. no i'm like, waving like wave, help. Like, help wave. <laughs> then the guy comes over and i was like are you up for a search or a rescue today and he tied us on to his bow and got us pulled over and he was like do you want me to take you back in the middle so you can sail or do you want me to take you back to the marina i'm like <laughs> let's just go back to the marina well, especially with the boom, <laughs> if the boom like, keeps popping off well that's like, what i was worried about that it was just gonna back back keep popping easily. off and i wouldn't be able to sail and stuff by this point i had gotten back in like yeah. it basically got to the point where i was in deep into the marina far enough that <laughs> I let go of the main sheet and uh, I just took the oar and started paddling in and I got us in just fine and that was great. I pulled up the dagger and everything, did everything right and got in and I saw the girl loading up the Duffy boat. And so I thought, oh, genius. They, they're deciding to take the Duffy Jake boat. Because didn't know at this point I didn't know anything, being yeah. towed in. And I'm like, oh, they're going to get the Duffy boat to go rescue her. That's great. I get out. And I'm like, hey, are you going to go get her? Are you going to go rescue her? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, because I hadn't called him or said, hey, because I was going to call out the marina and be like, hey, is there any way someone could come help us? And but luckily, one of the kids who was kayaking, he comes back and he's like, oh, yeah, no, she's getting towed in by the search and rescue. <laughs> and then the, the deckhand, I was asking him, he's like, oh, yeah, we have a, a, motor, a little motorboat out there to to rescue people and bring her in. It was amazing. I've literally never seen this boat out there. I felt like Heavenly Father was like, Kelsey, I got your back. It's okay. I'm here. <laughs> it was like, was like, thank you. So Davey and I were able to run in and see, we saw the sailboat coming in <laughs> and we just saw it getting 
<laughs> slowly towed in. Oh. Meanwhile, Kelsey, I hear Kelsey, thank you so much. Thank you. I know. So I was much. just so <laughs> grateful. I was just like, oh, my little baby's here. Like, we're safe. We're good. Well, and it was interesting because I felt like it was funny because when we got out of the boat, I was like, oh, that was like a really fun adventure. <laughs> but while I was in the boat, I was like, Oh my gosh! I, mean, I should panicking. show you on my phone. Like call after call after call after call, and then like and hang up after hang up, and I'm like literally like, I, I'm trying to get back. I don't know what you want me to do. Every time you call me, it's I know. slowing well, you down. You could do. It was really a good time, and I feel like I would actually go do it again because we know what to do. We can do it. It was. Just, I think it was just a little bit different with the wind and well, stuff. Well, also and the first time with the little kids and not knowing if they're gonna want to like, jump out or get antsy or be like, ah, uh, you know. Yeah. I'd like to take the little dinghy sailboats out again, but I think I would prefer being on a bigger boat in a bigger lake where there's like a little bit more room to explore and go around. Because it was actually perfect size for the little girls and you can technically fit two adults. I could go yeah. out with Kelsey, but it's a little uncomfortable whoever's not sailing. Yeah. They kind of have to duck down underneath the boom. Yeah. But it still wouldn't be bad and we could do that and both go out. Yeah, that would be really fun. Or but a bigger boat on yeah. a bigger water would probably be fun too. Yeah, I think we need to do it all because obviously if we want to get a boat in the future, yeah. we've got to <laughs> we've got to get good and or know just, how to keep our cool in these situations. Or we just have the Coast Guard on speed dial. <laughs> hey, no. nope. Oh. <laughs> no, they don't have time for that stuff. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, but that was an adventure. And the girls did great. I I know, they were super awesome. Like, and like baby liked, she got a little nervous when the wind would pick up and catch a bit, but she still liked it and she was fine and she liked seeing the ducks. And yeah. obviously once we got off, I was like, do you want to go on the boat? And she's like, uh. <laughs> but it was so oh. cute though, because she was saying sailboat and yeah, that was just really, really fun. What kind of boat are we going to go on? Sailboat. A sailboat? A boat. A boat, uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to get it and go on the boat. We're hoping to take some catamaran sailing lessons someday in the future. And just get out, yes, yeah, some more open water. And that's a good yeah. thing. There's lots of lakes nearby that are open and... Mm -hmm. Catamarans, you can find a small catamaran yeah. that you could just tow pretty easily. I like, think we need to find like a sailing club or something yeah. too. Because so. that, that's nice to have people to help in those situations too. <laughs> <laughs> At least have three people on the boat, one person really experienced enough <laughs> to get us out of a pickle instead of two inexperienced <laughs> adults and two toddlers. It was sure fun though. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us on our exciting first sailboat experiences with our cute toddlers. We hope you have an awesome day. Yeah, and, and it, yeah, if you have any fun sailing stories, I would love to hear them yeah, in the comments comment below, below because it's just an adventure. That was a fun. rush. <laughs> well, and it's so interesting because you kind of know where you want to go, but if the wind's not going that way, you just got to kind of meander over. It can be relaxing. It can also be stressful depending on... Yeah, this <laughs> this experience today was the stress, most stressful experience I feel like I've had in a long, in a long time. <laughs> But we're doing good though. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> but thanks so much for joining along. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our adventures. See ya. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.